Hello everyone, my name is Jimshed Raza and today I have brought some very uh, important lesson in Adobe Photoshop where we are going to learn uh, retouching a photo. We have that photo in front of you and after retouching we will get the result something like this one. And that will be quite brilliant result. Now let's get started. We have new document in here and there is a layer uh, dialog box in layer dialog box in bottom you will see the color selection and there is a, an option which is hue and saturation just like that hue and saturation uh, the reason behind why we are using hue and saturation it is uh, for redness of that pimples or red skin to match the whole skin uh, similar now for that we select red and just change the hue and saturation a little bit to take off where we are selecting and changing that ruler now we will see that that red spots and areas are already selected now just change hue and saturation again in zero and change lightness a little bit now you're gonna see you will see that we have changed that area a little bit now if i go uh, if i change that ruler a little bit as well and change the saturation you will see that we have complete white skin now that is quite uh, important for removing the pimples now little bit i go I will increase the and saturation and we, we will get a little bit skin tones in that area. Now just close that properties hue and saturation dialog box and select the mask in hue and saturation. After that select your brush and select black color in dialog box. Uh, simply we can do one more thing uh, just unhide or just hide your hue and saturation and come to your lasso uh, magnetic tool then select the lip area and like this one okay it is done and just unhide your hue and saturation again select your white area or mask and come to your bracket select black color and just click that area and you will see the original lip color right now before that if i just uh, undo my that procedure you can see that it is as we have changed the hue and saturation the lip color has already changed now we just make it back to original color for that we have selected black and just uh, click on mask and we will get the original color now just come to uh, select and deselect the selection and you have now already your uh, good skin color now i just take this layer one or image layer and take it to the new layer i make it i make its duplicate now come to the uh, helling brush tool and simply take and click those spots which are a little bit a little bit you need to clean the skin i have changed the size of the brush and now i simply click those area which I want to remove the pimples right now I think the skin is little bit clear uh, we make one more adjustment in the skin uh, for that you have to select magnetic lasso tool and come here and select complete face
okay now select uh, and come to the color range or select and mask click on select select and mask and there we have uh, simply mask layer selected and we will see that there is an option for something like white color now we adjust the smoothness a little bit and feather to a little bit more transparent now in bottom you will select that new layer with layer mask select select that one and click ok now there you have one new layer with mask selected uh, now I have to select uh, the image layer and come to the filter here you will see blur and make surface blur for surface blur you have to adjust the value something radius like 10 pixels and threshold like 8 uh, pixels or levels click ok now you can see already that the, the skin has blurred uh, but we also see that uh, the eyebrow and eyes also blurred along with lips how to make adjustment to that now select your uh, layer in, in layer 1 copy and select mask and in here you have to select your uh, brush tool and take the offset to 50% or to 40% and same flow to 50% now just click in your in those area which you want again the sharp effect now I also sharp the eye and eyelashes similarly we will a little bit adjust the lips and something like in hair okay I have to make it hundred percent now we have a very nice effect okay I just uh, visible the layer one copy and now you see there is some very clean skin tune now we have uh, to add some noise or nice effect in that area for this we have to just make a copy or just t select the image and come to if a filter and nice there you will see that uh, nice uh, reduce noise oh sorry that will be something like uh, yeah nice and add noise and uh, take the amount 1.5 and uniform selected click ok and now you have a very nice noise effect in your um, in your skin and that is if we check the first layer we have that original image and we ret retouch it something with like this one i hope that tutorial will help help you in your future project and you will make a portrait with clean skin retouching thank you and stay tuned with more tutorials